Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kinder Martini Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're gonna be going over the new VIP, limited VIP boards uh, that we currently have within the game. I know there was a bit of confusion about it yesterday, uh, but we did receive the coins near midnight, near reset, and then we actually got the boards uh, at reset. And I swear to God, <laughs> The boards are absolutely ridiculous. Um, it is kind of unfortunate though, because it is, there's just so much that you could possibly want to grab from these boards, from these boards, but there's not nearly enough coins to actually be able to go ahead and actually grab these. Um, I will say that whales are probably having the time of their life right now, <laughs> leveling up, but at the very least, um, for those of us that have been playing for a very long time are are definitely getting quite a bit of uh, we're getting some benefit out of it too now in case you don't understand what exactly is going on because I know there's quite a few people who are like that right now it, it, they did just kind of throw a whole ton at you all of a sudden as of right now we got awarded within our gift box these things called limited VIP coins and the way that we that it worked, at least within the gift box, is that up until this point, so basically since the beginning of the game, as far as I'm aware, up until now, you will receive one VIP coin for every thousand jewels that you've uh, that you've spent within the game. And I don't mean like purchase with like real world money. I mean like as in like like how I have three thousand jewels right now within the game. Like if I had spent those before August 29th. So literally like two days ago, um, all jewels spent on like banners and such up until two days ago, you would get one VIP coin for every 1000 jewels. And with those VIP coins, you can then use them to purchase anything within these new v limited VIP boards that we currently have within the game. Uh, we have Mickeys and Brooms. We have Fairy Medals. Which is honestly probably the coolest part within the game. It kind of sucks the tier 8 fairy is super expensive. We have really good skills. Uh, we have EX plus medals within the game too. That I know not everybody has. Uh, we have prime medals, tier 4 prime medals. And then we have uh, tier 5 prime medals. Now for most players, chances are for a majority of players, we're not going to be, you're not going to have received that many uh, VIP coins. If you're free to play, you can, chances are you probably got, only got maybe about five, six hundred VIP coins or less if you haven't been playing for that long. If you are a VIP player such as myself, you probably got uh, so, somewhere more or less around the 1,000 uh, range. Um, and for whales, you probably have gotten like a ridiculous amount. <laughs> <laughs> probably maybe like a couple thousand or something i don't know uh, but essentially for today's video i just kind of want to go over each of the boards my thoughts on to, uh, as to which ones i think are probably worth the most on getting um and obviously it's gonna just overall it's just gonna depend on your own personal situation uh just simply because of the fact that everyone's in a different spot within the game everyone needs different things uh, so I'll, I'll try to keep as much of that in mind as possible, but uh, I'll try to give, at the very least, I'll give my insight as to each board. So first of all, just looking at these first two boards between the prime boards, okay? Within this first tier five prime board, um, you only have the option of getting the illustrated Roxas or the Roxas and Shion prime, okay? And for the tier four uh, prime board, okay? You're able to get the Key Art 17, the Illustrated Axle. I know it's not in the picture, but the Power Reverse Prime Illustrated Axle. The Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku and Mickey, that's also not in the picture. The uh, Young Xehanort, that's in the picture. And the Prime Lee and Isa, which is also in the picture. So basically all of the Tier 4 Prime medals are available within this, and they're 80 uh, coins each. All right. Now... I, sh I showed it before, but I didn't actually say it, but the prime ones are 150 each for uh, for at least the first node. These are 150 each, and then the rest, these are trait medals, which are 50. If you have the VIP coins for it, I recommend the tier five ones first. So instead of like Young Xehanort, I would do the prime Roxas and Shion, for example. And I would definitely recommend the prime illustrated Roxas for magic reverse, simply because of the fact is legitimately the only magic reverse prime metal we have in the entire game so he has a ton of value right there 
I would prefer the tier 5 prime metals if possible um, over the tier 4 just because they are AOE and they are a little bit stronger as well. To be honest, you can pretty much skip almost most of this EX Plus set uh, for two reasons. One, because most of the medals are already kind of outdated. The only reason you would actually want most of these EX Plus medals, like Sephiroth EX Plus for example, is simply because of the fact that they have uh, some of the highest AOE damage in the game, and that's legitimately the only reason. In which case, you might as well be using some other AOE medals that actually have better abilities and stuff at this point. If you're gonna be looking at this board, the only medals I would actually recommend would be the stained glass ones, and that's only if you're like, only missing them. Uh, and the second reason why it's not really worth going for this board is just because of the fact that e every single node is 250 coins, and that's literally going to eat up most people's <laughs> VIP coins like really quick. I actually um, accidentally got the stained glass number one because I don't have, that was the only stained glass I don't have and I kind of regret doing that because I, I didn't actually register in my head that it was 250 coins. Uh, I literally, like literally those 50 coins, I, I literally just need 50 coins to get like another tier 8 me uh, fairy medal and then I could evolve with another tier 8 uh, medal. So kind of sucks for right there. Uh, but the other board right here, this one is honestly going to be one of the best ones uh, by far. It's going to be the skill set. And if we take a look at this. Um, these ones by right, right here, by the way, are the Sid ones. These are free. Uh, so you can, you can get those for free. But this top row right here. Ah, this top row right here. This is defense boost for max. Uh, so if you want any good decent shot of doing well in pvp i highly recommend getting defense boost for max especially if you don't have any left or you just don't have any i've been seeing quite a lot recently in pvp a lot of people using using just defense boost 3 max and i'm like surprised why i'm still seeing them at that ranking um, but if you want to do well in pvp with whatever strategy that you're using i highly recommend you get the defense boost for max Defense boost 5 is okay, but you don't need it in order to do well in PvP. Um, triple Threat 2 is also very useful for PvP as well, depending on your strategy. Uh, I, I use both Defense Boost 4 Max and Triple Threat uh, in my current strategies. I, that's just how I like to battle. Uh, even for this week where like I have every single keyblade setup as a strong setup. I'm using I'm using Triple Threat. So uh, that's luckily that's only 20 coins, which is pretty good. Second chance four is also here if you need that. Um, the rest you can honestly skip just because of the fact that they're just they just cost so much, like 200 coins. You're you're trying to get the most bang for your buck if possible. Uh, even I, I I got one second chance. I mean defense boost four max just because like I needed one on my Violet. <laughs> she was the only defense medal that I didn't have it on that I really needed it on. So there's one on her i could get another one if i wanted to but i'm hanging on to my 157 coins for now just in case uh i need it for something else later on and then the rest of them uh, i'll get to the fairies in a sec uh, but we have the fantasia mickey bees uh set as well each every single well it, it kind of increments up as you go along but it starts off at 10 so you can literally get quite a few of them uh from the very beginning uh, for pretty cheap if you need them so that might not be a bad, bad idea for low on coins as well. And out of all of these, okay, here's what I have to say though. For the tier four fairies, all right, they're pretty low. It's 15 jewels or jewels. It's 15 VIP coins each. So that's pretty cheap. Those are great for evolving the, the prime metals, um, especially if you don't have them and you're actually redeeming the prime metals from the boards itself. You might want to consider getting some of these if you don't have them already. Uh, if you're already getting silver tickets though within PvP, like you're consistently getting silver tickets, you can honestly, you could probably hold off on getting the fairies. And this, this advice is going to apply for pretty much all of the fairy banners, uh, depending on how good in the rankings you are going. But if you're consistently getting silver tickets, you can honestly probably skip out on the tier 4 fairies just because the fact you're, you're more likely to get them out of any of the other fairies besides tier 3, of course. Uh, tier 5, tier 5 are probably going to be the ones that are going to be worth doing for the uh, tier 5 prime medals. And I'm not expecting any more tier 5 prime medals or even any new tier 5 7 star medals for that matter. The ones that everyone's going to be looking at, of course, and this this is only going to really apply for like uh, 
long-term veter veterans, anybody who's been playing since like the beginning of the game and such, who basically was able to re receive a ton of coins. Like for me, I got about 1,200 coins. Um, so I was able to sink my teeth into a couple of these. Uh, I basically ignored tier six because honestly, there's not too much from tier six medals that are actually re worth uh, evolving to seven star. There's literally only a handful within the entire game uh, worth seven starring. But for tier seven, tier seven is definitely worth doing if possible. It's only a hundred, which is honestly not that bad. Even a free to play player who has been playing since like the beginning of the game could probably get a, quite a few tier sevens. And those alone will, uh, if you're concerned about PVP, uh, that will that alone evolving one tier seven metal will help you out in your rankings in PvP quite a bit, um, and at the same time will help you out in the game in general as well. Uh, and obviously the tier eights are pretty much going to mostly apply to anybody who's been like who was able to get quite a large amount of coins. I I only did one because I I get gold tickets pretty often. Um, within PvP, so I don't have to worry too much about getting tier 8s. Uh, I have four tier 8s right now, and I'll most likely be getting two gold tickets um, upon reset and such. So, uh, one from getting VIP and one from uh, from my ranking. So, and chances are I have a good chance of getting a tier 8 sooner or later. So, I, I'm not going too crazy about that. The only advice I would probably give you guys though is that if you're looking to evolve some of your higher tier metals, such as like tier six, seven, or eight and such, the only advice I would kind of have to give about that is to keep in mind about your AOE metals. Yes, I know uh, your first reaction is going to be to evolve your single target metals, such as like, you know, like Warrior of Light uh, or Illustrate Aqua B and such, um, purely for the sake of PVP. But uh, the only thing I wanna throw out there is the fact that it's becoming more and more relevant that it seems to have really strong AOE medals for the rest of the game such as like with rating and such um, and it's very possible we can even need it for the organization 13 kind of like how we did for Syax how he had like random spawn it's becoming increasingly apparent to me that having seven star AOE medals uh, is very important so if possible I would probably recommend evolving any of your strong AOE medals first before your single target just so that way you can at least use them in both the rest of the game and within PvP if you like as well. Um, some key mentions will be any medals such as like the uh, four, um, such as like the Wayfinder trio for example who are both AOE but also do extra damage against single target opponents such as like such as like HD Aqua EX, for example. I still use that to that day. I have a seven star version of that. And it's, I can tell you right now, it is, it saves my butt so much. <laughs> it saves me a world of pain. For speed, I have a uh, HD Final Form Sora. Uh, that's pretty, pretty helpful. And then power is literally the only attribute in the game so far. I don't have an AOE medal in. So I'm possibly considering using my HD Sora and Kairi EX as candidates for evolving to 7 star. One, because it has good utility that is still very likely to be useful to this day, uh, reset encounters. And two, it is an AOE metal. And three, I believe it's also because of the fact it deals more damage against single target opponents. So that's good candidate right there. In case you're not aware as well, we will be getting some more uh, banners fairly soon, probably tomorrow with the AVA EX Plus. Uh, in case you haven't heard about that, I'll be talking about that when that comes out. But the new banners that will be coming out will be rewarding 10 VIP coins for every pull for those banners. And these boards do last for an entire month, so there is no rush whatsoever uh, to like pull from these immediately okay so what i recommend overall is that in terms of these boards take what you need now and save your vip coins for later on just in case you actually need them for something else instead that's what i would recommend kind of like how i'm hanging on to these 157 just in case 
Uh, I want to use them for something else. Like if I get 50 VIP coins throughout the course of this month, um, I might want to do it on a tier eight instead, or I might want to do it in a skill. Um, or if there's nothing else I really want or need, I might do uh, a few uh, trait medals. You know, just cause why not? Uh, remember, these are limited, so they don't—they're not permanent. Uh, and they will go away at the end of the month. So I do believe it's for the best if you try to use only what you need right now and then save the rest for later on just in case, especially if you're a free to play player or uh, a beginning player for whatever amount you happen to have. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Let me know what your thoughts are about these boards. Honestly, this has got to be the best thing they have done in a very long time uh, for mostly veteran players and, of course, whales. But there's even some value for beginning players and free-to-play players as well. So I would love to hear you guys' thoughts about it. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kinemotini Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.